myself Or will I bite the dust and stay with you You can help me time unfold and I try to make it back in this raging sea cause I'm way too deep cause I'm way too
now traveling to Busan. Hello everyone and welcome to our next stream. Park University is going against the Midland University Warriors. We are going to start on the map Busan, the Mecca base, once again. It seems as if we've been on Mecca base each time so far. It looks like the team comps are going to be Orissa, Symmetra, Sigma, Lucio, Moira, and Reaper. From last match, we swapped in Equius Gaming here as our next DPS. It appears that we're still going with a very similar composition, though it is very effective against the double shield meta. Alright, 26 so seconds till we start our eight. This is a control point map for the first one. Look at that! Enemy team's name is Shiloh, just like my co-caster, who unfortunately could not be here with me right now. Um, let's see here. Alright, it appears we're going from the right side. Um, here we're on MU Tiger 74, who is Sigma. Teleporter online. It appears the enemy team is coming from the left side in that nice little shrine over there. We teleported into the middle point. And uh, the warriors are very spread out right now. They got a pick on Equius Gaming, but it appears that they have quite less players there. They lost a tank and a support. Oh, and it will be Park University that captures the point first. Oh, there's an Ash still on the side there. Now we wait for the enemy team to regroup. Here they come from the... It appears to be middle. Of course, they have the usual double shield composition. Oh, it... Bob has been released, wrecking havoc on Park University here. But it appears that, oh, it appears that they're gonna have to regroup as they lose the point here. No swap so far in composition, but they're gonna regroup and push what appears from the left side. It's somewhat unusual to see an Ash in the comp here. But we'll see where it takes us. The Reaper here is flanking from behind, hopefully to get a very nice teleport and potentially a very nice ultimate. It appears. Oh, Reaper just got stunned here by a Doomfist, though luckily Tear Draco over there was able to hold him off. Tear Draco as Moira is ulting into the other team, hoping to scare them off the point and potentially get some kills. Oh, Doomfist was able to take out both Reaper and Sigma. Hopefully they'll still be able to hold the point here, except it appears they're going to have to back out once again. With Park at 36% and uh, the Warriors at 59% here. As you probably already know, uh, the point will be fully captured once the percentage up there reaches 100. Let's see if Park will be able to flank around once again and potentially make some big moves. They have swapped off the Symmetra into a McCurry. Here's Reaper going for the flank again. Hopefully he can get his ultimate soon. Oh! He was able to take out a support with him at least, which is a very great pick. Uh, Park has switched to more of a dive composition in order to touch the point before the enemy captures it fully. Lucio also used his ult and hopes in getting this point. We're in overtime right now. Hopefully. Ooh, it seems like they're not able to stay on the point, unfortunately. We'll see if Park will be able to capture the point next round. Though luckily there's an advantage here. Is if we actually do end up losing this match here. We'll be able to choose the map. 
So now we're at Mecha Base. We were at the shrine. It appears they're going with the same composition. Except. Okay, they've swapped their dive composition off. They have a Reinhardt, they have a Doomfist, Zarya, Lucio, Mora, and May. This is quite a different composition than we're used to seeing here. But I believe they'll be able to pull it off with fairly well. Going from top left up here, hoping to potentially flank around and hop on to point. Reinhardt had a nice fire strike. Oh, May cut off the team a little bit, it appears. Oh, but Reinhardt just got singled out completely. It appears we're gonna have to go for a regroup. Poor Tornath here got staggered. And the enemy team is gonna go tap the wall. It appears we're making some changes here to an Ana over that Lucio. They're going from the below ground point. Oh, there's a McCree hiding up there. Oh, the whole team was hiding up there, jumping down right onto us. Oh, but poor Equus gaming over there. Oh, it appears McCree used his ultimate dead eye in order to take out a couple players here. And, uh, we're gonna have to regroup in order to try to capture that point once again. Uh, let's see if we're making any swaps here. No, we're keeping the same composition. We're going from a different side, a whole completely different way. Let's see if we can look at this Reinhardt here. He's pushing his way through. It seems like the Warriors are doing the same strategy of being up top there. Equius Gaming was being a nice little iceberg. Unfortunately, that did not save him. Oof, and MU Tiger just got pinned. Thankfully, Ptolemy was able to make it out alive and back to his team, making this push a little bit faster. Let's see if they'll be able to take up this top left. I believe they're going up here because they don't want uh, warriors to just drop down on them once again and start picking off people and separating them. We have a pretty intense battle here as we go for this choke point, and Reinhardt gets cut off alone once again by the enemy May. And enemy Reinhardt uses his ultimate shatter to take out the team. They have a, one more solid push, and it appears they have two ultimates to go into this. Tear Dracos My and Your team Holland. Team. They're going from bottom once again. Uh, King Beast has been nano boosted, but Zarya has pulled them all together and trapped them with an ice. Oh goodness, they could not touch the point. Equius Gaming, as you can see over there, is right on the point too. It was a very close touch. Unfortunately, that will be the first round. But as mentioned before, we will get to choose which map to play next. And here's the play of the game. Ash throwing out a very nice bob and getting some good shots. Cleaning up very well. Tornath is up here with a card for 6k healing. Took 23% of the team damage. Very nice. This was the only plausible outcome. Alright, and we will get to see which map Park University picks next. Lots of nices in the chat over here. Very good communication. And we'll get to see which map Park University picks next. Oh, here we have our co-caster. You may introduce yourself if you'd like. Yes. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm John Carrasco. I'm gonna be your co-caster today. Hope we're gonna, hopefully, we're gonna see some uh, good gameplay from Park University. All right. It appears we're gonna do Hollywood, the uh, capture and escort map. We had just lost the first map, but here we have the second map. If we're able to capture it, then we'll have like sudden death, pretty much. So hopefully they'll do well on this map as they did earlier. They were able to beat uh, Shenandoah University on said map. They've always been very strong on this one and 
hopefully we will be starting soon. So what kind of strategies have we seen from these teams in the past game? So far, um, the Midland University Warriors, they like to go on top, take the high ground, and then suddenly just jump down sporadically. And um, I've seen many May walls from both teams just cutting each team in half, so they're all split up. Mm. It's a very controlling gameplay yes. from both teams here. It appears that we are ready in a moment. But for now, I suppose we'll wait. Oh. <laughs> Great time to have someone go to the bathroom mid-game. <laughs> Here we go, probably. Oh, never mind. Very fast. I was going to put us on pause Hollywood. here. All right, so let's see our heroes. Orissa, Bastion, Sigma. I feel like there's going to be a Lucio and a Moira or a Baptiste and Mercy once again. Yes. Okay, so the last match we had before this one, they did a similar composition, but this time they have Equius Gaming here who is very good with Hanzo. So we might see a bit more of a defensive strategy exactly. from Park this time around, especially with that Bastion kind of setting up around choke points, trying to control the map on certain locations. Yes, we'll see how that pairs with the Moira, especially. Hanzo is going to have that big scary ultimate too, which is really great for scaring people away and getting choke points, which is the defense well, specialty. Yeah, Park University really playing to the strength of the map this time. Can we see what the other teams are right now? Unfortunately, we cannot yet. It should be uh, once the match actually starts in a couple seconds. I I bet they're gonna probably do double shield just as we are. Orissa, Sigma with a Bastion, maybe a maybe a Symmetra with a Moira, and a Lucian. Oh boy, he's very high up here. I'll keep it on MU Tiger here as we start the initial push. Let's see, is that a Fara Yes, it appears there is a Fara, therefore there should be a Mercy. Uh, yep. We can see some white hope going on. There's a Fara Mercy, of course. I feel like Park's coming around the side. Yep, coming from behind, it appears that there's an Orissa over there. Oh, there's, there's Farrah on top. Yep. Oh, she's about to get taken down, though. They still cannot seem to get this Farrah. Orissa's trying to get her. They have a Bastion, Orissa, Sigma as well. Alright, they're moving up. Let's see if they can make anything happen here. And the shield goes down, Bastion, or Orissa is just putting down fire on the other team. Hopefully our Bastion will be able to counter fire theirs. It appears their Sigma has knocked, been knocked out of position that we lost Oh, that Pharah is just tearing up Park's team Yes, right now. and they all got split up as well. Yeah, they just have no way of dealing with the mobility of that far. That oh, it um, appears they've gotten a Widowmaker in order to counter, counter her. Let's see if that Widowmaker can pick her out of the sky. That's definitely going to be a pretty we tough can go in first shot. Person here. Oh, goodness. Hopefully he can get their mercy. Oh, oh uh, one shot goes down. Wow, nope. both shots unfortunately left him at one hit. Oh, oh Farah wow, just that, taking a ultimate. very bold ultimate there. All right, Look at mercy Indian goes down. Farah's in trouble. We'll see if they can pick her out of the sky. Oh goodness, is he just gonna leave her? Thankfully, he got the Mercy, so the Mercy cannot revive that Farah, who is just a critical key person in this match. That Mercy's gonna be back up soon, though, probably. Yes. And this Bastion just yeah, needs see, to there go. She is oh, again. Yep. Unfortunately, Inu Tiger could not get the rock to smack into him and stun them. Ooh, getting hard split up here. Is oh, Inu yeah, Tiger yeah, alone? Trouble. Bastion at least used his ult on that, so he will not have that for this next round. Let's see, do we have any other ultimates? Not yet. We have uh, Tear Draco here. He has switched to the Ana. 
<clears throat> Miana is an interesting pick here. Uh, we'll see if they can make use of those long range heals. Hopefully it'll prevent them from getting split up quite as bad since she doesn't really need to be in the fight as much. I believe he's- oh very nice! Tell me he was able to take out that far, but Mercy of course res her. I believe- Oh wow, they're going- they're in trouble here. Draco is trying to get that Farah and that Mercy as Ana while being able to give good healing to his teammates. She is Anna's so low. Ana's damage output just isn't oh, quite they enough won't, to deal with that Farah. They staggered him. As you can see, he stood there for a moment. That was on purpose so they would kill him faster. Unfortunately, they knew exactly what he was doing. So he will be back momentarily. No one can hide. I'll put it on King Beast in here. To get right in the action. Oh, it looks like he was almost taken out. Where? I don't know if she's gonna be able to really. No. Oh, look at the Hanzo throwing into the, the dragons. Shield. Hopefully. Yeah, but it wow, like it was unable. I'm really shocked that it was unable to even kill anyone. That's... Yeah, that looks like it was quite a head-on shot. Yeah. The healing is just too much for the other and team And that here. immortality field, I guess it takes very a very long time, even with the dragons, to break. It appears he's going to swap to Mei instead. And let's see if... I wonder if he's going to try to snipe out that far too, from afar. Yeah, and that makes it be pretty Once cool again! Wow. Once again. Oh, but she goes down that time. Oh, there is one... They were able to get overtime, but they are way too far in order to get it. Yeah, you hate to see it. That's uh, another round for uh, what, uh, what? Uh, Midland University Warriors. They are going to have to cap one full tick in order to beat us. It could be a slight little wedge too. But I'm fairly sure they have to get one full tick to in order to win this. So Park's going to have to have very strong defense. Got you, got you. Okay, so they're going with Orissa, Bastion, Sigma, Mercy. And I assume Baptiste and... I'm not sure what they're going to do for our other DPS here. Maybe potentially a Symmetra in order to be more mobile with that Bastion. Oh, it appears we're going McCree. That's very good for getting Farah's out of the sky. Yeah, if they can line up those shots with Farah in the air, they can definitely pick her out of the sky. But the problem is those shots are going to be pretty hard to line up, especially with the Mercy following the Farah around. Yeah, constantly. most definitely, because she's just going to heal and heal until she's just kept alive permanently and just killing everyone. Yeah, we're going to need to see some headshots from McCree this Yes. Round, oh, and he swapped to Ash. Very good choice, because Ash has Bob. <laughs> Oh, it yeah. Seems like you are from Bob's pretty much a little auto fire bot who just auto targets everything. Yeah, hopefully that auto targeting will be a little more accurate in being able to pick up those uh, mobile champions like Mercy and Park. I'll keep it on Ptolemy here for a bit to see how the first point of view of Bastion goes. Yeah, this first push is going to be so critical for Park to uh, be able to hold off. Oh, because the enemy team is going dive. So the dive composition is very mobile characters who are good at spreading out and then coming back together. Oof, so that Tracer... This McCree would have been actually a lot better in this composition, not going to lie to you. Uh, Alright, so it looks like Bastion goes down. Hopefully Mercy will be able to revive him there as she goes for the revive. Alright, Bastion's back up. Orissa coming around trying to deal with Tracer. Oh, and yes, and you Anna. can't let oh, them get one be, tick. Oh man, they're so mobile. Oh, but She's Bastion able to managed to take out both wow. Anna and Lucio. That's going to be pretty difficult for uh, the Warriors to handle here. Oh, and here oh, goes, uh, goes Tier Draco's ultimate Ooh. with him. Luckily, Park seems to be still holding up even without their supports here. There's that little baby D.Va being a pest. Yeah, D.Va goes down. Much less dangerous without that mech. Thank goodness they still are holding enough. Where You see the yellow little tick mark on the point that says A up top on the screen? That is where the Warriors have to get in order to win this round. We'll see if our university can put up a pretty good defense against this. Uh, it looks like they're still running the same comp here, same dive. Yep. That Winston just staying on the Ash manages to take her down. We've swapped to more of a dive DPS, so Ptolemy is very mobile now because Bastion 
he couldn't move at all. So these people can just come in and just kill him. All right, Doomfist goes oh, down. Oh, goodness. They use all their ultimates for this. Will Park be able to come back in time? It doesn't look like it. Oh. It was a tough loss for Park University. But, unfortunately, let's see this play of the game. Oh, the Farah. I feel like it's going to be when she was in that little staircase. Yep. Yeah, that flank was just brutal. Definitely Goodness. did not see that one coming. See, wow. the Sigma was so close to being able to kill her with her own ultimate. Just because he threw the shield right in her face. Well, it looks like Tier Draco got a card here for 5k healing. 26% of the team damage was taken. Very nice. Good attempt from Park University. Alright, it. I don't know why they have next match going. <laughs> but I mean... We'll see. Oh no, I believe that is it for today. Thank you all for coming to view our match. Hopefully next time we'll go a little bit better. We held off fairly well though. Yeah, it was Park, a very difficult team. Park University's defense there was surprisingly strong in the uh, second half of that, that last match. Uh, definitely defended against that dive comp pretty well uh, starting out, but the, just the mobility of those uh, enemy team was just a little too much to handle there. Agreed. Well, thank you all for coming out to watch. Signing out.